Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Arsenal 3, Manchester United 2. Eddie Enketia with two goals. Bukayo Saka with one. Marcus Rashford and Lisandro Martinez scored for Manchester United. Listen, man. Let's just give the trophy. <laughs> give the the, the title to to Arsenal. They are doing pretty good at the moment. And guess what? Those little things that need to go for you are going for them, if that makes sense. To be a champion, you need some help sometimes. The referee, the VAR, a non-goal, a lucky goal, something needs to happen, the last minute goal. So it looks like everything is coming together for Arsenal right now. They're not going to stop there. They already reinforced with two signings already in this Jan January transfer window. In the defense, the guy from Poland. And also in the attack, they have Leandro Trossard. They might even get somebody else, a right back or something. They are working on it. So if they can reinforce one or a couple more players at the end of this window, they should be fine. Gabriel Jesus is coming from, from an injury. Very soon, he's going to be on the pitch. So I think Arsenal are all set. They are all set, my friend. Let's just be honest here, right? All right, people. <laughs> Let's get to some details about this game here. Starting 11, Ramsdale, White, Saliba, Gabriel, Zinchenko, Odegaard, Thomas Party, Zaka, Saka, Inketia, and Martinelli. That was Arsenal starting 11. And if you go to Manchester United, they really missed somebody like Casemiro in the midfield and they struggled. You can tell the difference one player can make. So you see here in goal, they had the hair, Varane. Martinez, Luke Shaw, Wambisaka, Eriksen, McTominay, Anthony, Fernandez, Rashford, and Vigost. The solo number nine in front. So, as you can tell here, oh man, I'm going to repeat myself here, but they really missed somebody like Casemiro. Otherwise, the game could have been different. Very good game for neutral to, to watch, though. You know, it was a lot of goals, a lot of dramas. You know, the VAR got involved, a lot of push. You know, uh, really, it, it looked like a derby, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, even though the result at the end is not gonna help Chelsea. But you gotta enjoy football, right? Whatever team you, you watch. Anyways, my people, let's go to some statistics here. Look at Arsenal. Wow. Arsenal are playing ball at the moment. 25 shot. Manchester United only six. Five shot on target for, for Arsenal. And they scored three goals. And for United, they had four shot on target. 58% position for Arsenal. Only 42 for Manchester United. That's uh, what people want to wanna see. And uh, on the table here, Arsenal still on top with 50 point. Manchester City, 45 point. Uh, but I think Arsenal still got a, a game in hand. So uh, the table might change anytime soon. And if they win their game, they might go, you know, eight point clear. So, um... Yeah, Manchester City, Newcastle United, Manchester United, Tottenham Hotspurs, Brighton, Fulham, Bradford, Liverpool, Chelsea, and all that. If you go to the bottom, you will see Bournemouth, Everton, and Southampton. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think Arsenal can do it or it's going to be too much for them and Manchester City might just... Uh, come out of the blue and win the league. Marcus Rashford is somebody that I wanted to 
to really emphasize a little bit the guy is on fire everything he touches right now touch uh, turn to gold unfortunately he's playing with some you know bad players at the moment so congratulations to the boy for another goal today uh yeah that's what you got when you give people confidence and you you allow them to play football in in their natural position and you trust them because a few months ago everybody wanted him out of manchester united but look at him today out of this world subscribe to the channel my friends it doesn't cost you anything only one click away like the video god bless you think outside the box and i will see you next time